Let me tell you a couple of three things about Phil Leotardo. Those Islander tickets, right? How about this humidity? Phil's traditionally very old school. A whack a boss? I won't do that. First, Phil gets out of the can after 20 fucking years. Phil Leotardo is released from the can, and we first meet him in the season five premiere. Two Tonys. And these people now being released from prison are the same ones who were jailed during the big mafia crackdowns of the 1980s? Also, Philip Leotardo, longtime Louvertazzi captain. I didn't like Phil at first, but then he kind of grew on me. What the hell's wrong with you? Next time, there'll be no next time. You've got to make sure he has some bread with his wine. You know the wine makes you emotional. Because I got an empty fucking stomach. Some call him the Shah of Iran. You know that fat cocksucker says I look like the Shah of Iran? Others? Well... We're, uh, from Alcoholics Anonymous. What's your name? Well, we're anonymous. Speaking of the Shah... <laughs> One Phil scene that I really love happens in an episode that isn't most people's favorites, and that's in Camelot, Season 5, Episode 7. Rock the Caspar is a song by The Clash that came out in 1982. Rock the Caspar was actually an anthem centered around the persecution of the Iranian people for enjoying music after the Shah of Iran was overthrown in 1979. Hey Phil, there's no eating in the car. And another Phil connection in that song? Just like what he used to make grilled cheese in the can. I'm a radiator grill. Look, now everything's all askew. And Joey, what's wrong with your eyes? You got a piece of dust in there or something? You look like Stevie Wonder, your eyes rolling around. Brutal? Yes. Funny? I'll say yes. At the end of season five, Tony B kills Billy Leotardo and tries to kill Phil Leotardo as well. Let's just say it's not Benny Fazio's lucky day after Phil spots him soon after Tony B had killed Billy, his brother. Though Benny may have gotten his stripes Benny, because of right? this, so maybe it's, it's not all bad luck. I'm on my way to the hospital. Well, that's up to you. Phil and Vito. Where to begin? This way, sweetheart. There's something I need to get straight between us. I think it's Patty Leotardo who is really behind Vito's final punishment here. One thing I do know. Vito has to be made to face his problem squarely. Maybe Christopher could use a little talking to, you know. Father told me, Vito doesn't renounce that lifestyle. He's damned. That's good. I'm sure he didn't come up with that himself. The other one? Filoni? I don't know. I don't mean that I think Patty Leotardo is the sole reason for Vito's death, but behind closed doors, Patty seemed like the most militant of all when it came to that particular issue. You know, Phil and Tony aren't all that different. And sure, they have some differences, but just like Tony, Phil Leotardo also seems to blame his DNA. They disrespected a proud Italian heritage and named us after a ballet costume. Marissa? That's for modern. In ballet, you wear tutus. At the end of season six, episode 14, stage five, Phil throws a birthday party for his deceased brother, Billy, at the bar. And after giving a little introduction and speech to the kids, you know, the cousins, the grandkids, etc., he goes and sits down at the bar with Butchie and starts reflecting. My weakness. Sometimes I think it's in my DNA. It's in his blood, this miserable fucking existence. My rotten fucking putrid genes have infected my kid's soul. That's my gift to my son. Leotardo. That's my fucking legacy. So, about this brother Billy. New York and New Jersey have a sit down to try to sort through all the bullshit. What happened there? The shooting. Whatever happened there, God rest his soul. And by meaning of the minds, I mean a total shit show. Me? My heart is an open book. But when it comes to Phil's heart... 
I'm dying. My heart. Oh my God. No more Butchie. No more of this. No more Butchie. No more of this is one of the most intense, powerful moments of the series for me. I always get goosebumps when you hear evidently Chicken Town starting up in the background and then he looks up at the wall of all the former bosses and guys that are no longer here with us. When Phil becomes the boss man. Charles Schwab over here. <laughs> After Johnny Sack dies in stage five, season six, episode 14, and in the following episode, Doc Santoro's taken out. That's Patricia. You mind? Go ahead. Message job through the eye. Bow Green special. Phil's officially cemented his position as the next boss of the Lupertazzi crime family. In the second coming, when Tony goes and has a sit down with Phil and the other guys, he asks Phil about compromise. You want compromise? How's this? 20 years in the can. I wanted Monica. I compromised. I ate grilled cheese off the radiator instead. And then Tony goes and beats the shit out of Coco, beats him nearly dead, after he finds out that Coco messed with Meadow while he saw her out on a date with Patrick Parisi. And then the gloves really come off. They make anybody and everybody over there. And the way that they do it, it's all fucked up. Guys don't get their finger pricked. There's no sword and gun on the table. Either it has meaning or no meaning. It's been done before. And it was wrong then. In the penultimate episode of the series, The Blue Comet, the Italian guys come over from Italy to take out Phil, or to try to take out Phil. The problem is, they go to his Gomar's house, and the Gomar's father looks just like Phil. So they think that it is Phil. Talk about a quality assurance disaster. I wonder if they have insurance on that. Phil's done with meetings. After all the shit goes down, Carmine and Tony try to go see Phil and make amends, but by the time they get there, Phil's not in the mood to talk. Well, at least not in the mood to talk face to face. I don't understand. Why is he like this? Some think Phil actually transformed into the house. You know, just another day in paradise. Go back to New Jersey. Phil, what are you doing? Take that piece of shit and get off my stoop. But we just talked about this. Well, cooler heads prevailed. Phil does have a real heart attack, but the first time around, just false alarm. What the hell's wrong with me? My guess is simple gas. Speaking of gas, Phil's last trip to the gas station. Now, as far as cooler heads prevailing, sorry, Dr. Iaconis. He probably didn't even hear it when it happened, right? In sum, here's a little overview of Phil's timeline on the show. Phil Leotardo is released from the can. Phil supervises his first post-incarceration whacking. Tony B kills Phil's brother Billy. Phil becomes acting boss after Johnny Sack is arrested. Phil and Vito. Phil has some heart trouble. When Phil becomes the boss man. When Phil says, get off my stoop. Bye bye, Pop Pop. and a special ouch moment that Phil delivers to Tony. You got a backyard? A pool? Dump it there. It's my only other suggestion. We have cake now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. What are some of your favorite Philly Atardo moments? I'd love to hear. 
to Shiloh.